Hey Z Stars, what's good in the hood? It's your girl Zara, aka Epic Star, and I'm back with another video. So I'd actually like to talk to you all about something pretty near and dear to my heart, and that's a continuation of our series on myths and misconceptions about black people and natural hair. Da da! Guys, see, I don't sing. Don't judge me. It's only violin I used to do. But anyway, <laughs> a lot of people say a lot of really crazy things, and of course, a lot of things are propagated against us when it comes to our natural hair. And I'd really like for all of this to stop. So I'd like to not only talk to you all but i'd like to hear from you about your own experiences let's make this a really interesting conversation in the comments before i start getting really long-winded <laughs> i'd like to remind you guys to give this video a big thumbs up let you know you like this kind of content be sure to share it with your friends again comment share with me your experiences and last but never ever least subscribe to my channel and turn your notifications on so you know every time i post a new video i'm gonna give you a moment to subscribe have you done it, you have, good. Oh, follow me on Instagram. Anyway, let's get right into the video. I spend my money, do you like that? She back it up and then I pipe that. This by far has to be the most absurd thing I've ever heard. Even people with straight hair are literally medically not advised to wash their hair every day. Now there's this one YouTuber in particular, we won't say his name here because he's not even worth that much. He actually like uses my pictures in his videos a lot and a lot of people have been DMing me on Instagram. Now the videos in question he's taken down, but I do have clips of them which I'm going to show and then we're going to talk about it. Does your hair type matter when it comes to having someone attracted to you? Like for black women, the curly hair, is that a problem? Or for many other people, is your hair too straight? Is it not wavy enough? Does it fall flat? Let's go through some hairstyles and I'll give you my honest opinions. Most of us know if you want an honest opinion, I'm awesome. Everybody hates me. What do I have to lose, you know? <laughs> so this frizzy crap, I say frizzy crap because it just comes to mind. It's not that it's actual crap, it's fine. I know, it looks like a mess. It looks like when you crumple up paper and you throw it. Meanwhile, this is just hot. That's really, really cool looking. Kind of looks like the real world version of Super Saiyan, but that's not a bad thing. So how ironic that the people who were calling me ignorant were actually the true ignorant ones in the situation who looked at my skin and can only see that and not hear the actual words I was saying. And again, if you have a problem with natural, well-kept black hair, then I have a problem with you. Find the right products, wash your hair daily, smell better, be cleaner. This kind of thing isn't exclusive to one race or another. Everyone can be clean daily, period. Now, there are a few reasons why frequent hair washing is 100% not necessary. First reason, high growth fatigue is extremely real, y'all. When the hair is being washed, when it gets wet, it swells, and when it dries, it shrinks up. Now, if you're constantly wetting your hair and allowing it to dry, that swelling, that shrinking, will cause the hair to lose its integrity over time. When the hair loses its integrity, it's more susceptible to breakage and other types of damage, including but not limited to split ends, thinning, hair loss, etc 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 and that is not what we're trying to do we're trying to have really sexy hair in 2019 and beyond so please do not overwash your hair again do not underwash it do note however all hair types are susceptible to hypo fatigue not just our hair not just type 4 hair y'all but every single hair type in every single race another reason why it's advisable to avoid washing the hair too often is this the more you wash your hair, the more you shampoo your scalp, the more you're stripping your hair of sebum, forcing your hair to overproduce oil. Now, a lot of people argue, oh my gosh, my hair gets so greasy, I need to wash it like all the time. Well, let me tell you something, girl, guy, or other. <laughs> your hair is getting greasy because you're washing it too much. Alternately, you could dry out your hair. So that's really just a recipe for disaster. Instead, allow your hair to marinate, let it shake and bake a little bit. I mean, if you're not exercising, if you're not doing anything that's causing your scalp to sweat, causing your hair to get really oily, you probably don't need to wash it. Now, if you would like to readjust and start washing your hair less frequently, you may find that for the first few weeks, your hair is pretty oily, but the body acclimatizes. That's what it does. It's adaptable. As human beings, as animals, we adapt and our bodies adapt to certain conditions. So if you wash your hair less frequently, it will certainly regulate its oil production. First 
of all, this is absolutely ridiculous. I can understand asking someone to put their hair in a ponytail or a bun, you know, to suit the work environment. But if as a black woman, you're literally telling me that my lock, my twist, my braids are unprofessional, or unkempt then there's a serious problem this is literally how my hair grows out of my head you cannot tell me that wearing my hair in its natural state is unprofessional that's like saying to blonde becky down the street like hey girl your hair is unprofessional even though i know that's how it grows out your head you can't be coming to work with that kind of hair it doesn't make any sense it's extremely racist <laughs> it's a huge double standard and it needs to stop there are a number of places that have received huge public backlash as a result of their extremely biased and racist rules and regulations against natural black and or African hair. So one of those places in particular is Pretoria Girls High School in South Africa. Of course, the girls in question protested because why shouldn't they be allowed to wear their hair the way it goes out of their head? It's not causing any type of commotion. And literally it's the same as another young person with curly hair wearing his or her curly hair the way it's growing out of their scalp. So kudos to them for that. But that's not even remotely in the first place. Even all across the United States there are instances of young women and men being discriminated against because of their hair and in the United States Army as far back as 2014 there were certain regulations that were literally read as discrimination against natural black hair saying that matted hair, hair in multiple braids, multiple twists was unacceptable and is prohibited. Y'all cannot tell me that's extremely racist. Previously I actually wouldn't go places because of the way that my hair looks. But at this point, I literally cannot come and kill myself. This is how my hair grows on my head. You guys are gonna take my hair in braids, in twists, and locks today, straight tomorrow. That's just the bottom line. And anybody who cannot accept it in 2019 can go to hell. And see, you guys, I need you guys to have that attitude too. If we're not sticking together, we literally cannot rise up against all these injustices against who we are. As you're watching this, let me know down below what kinds of experiences have you had with people discriminating against your hair or telling you your hair is unprofessional. Literally, when it's the hair that's going out of your head. I know I said that 20 million times, but it baffles me that we can still be discriminated against for who we are in 2019. There's a lot of work that needs to be done. Hey, I'm trying to entertain your body, baby. Let it ride, let it ride, yeah. I want to see what you got on, baby. Ooh, baby, let me sing. The notion that long black hair should be cut or trimmed to an acceptable length is literally ignorance masquerading as neatness. No two black people's hair grows out the same, y'all. There's no reason why I should cut my hair to look neat. It is my hair. So long as it's healthy and well kept, it is neat, essentially. Kinks and coils are not synonymous with being dirty, unkempt, sloppy, not smooth. It's literally a different version of human being. So of course, this is a carryover from slavery, but see, I said this like 20 times already in this video, y'all. It's 2019, and we really need to break these bonds from off our necks. These yokes, we need to unyoke ourselves, our minds, and our society as a whole. It's too much, it's too much. And I know that this kind of mental slavery takes a long time to get rid of because literally these are psychological things that have been passed down for generations and generations and generations. Our generations were taught to hate themselves. So it's something that's going to take time, but it starts from us. If we can begin to accept that who we are is beautiful, that who we are is perfect, that who we are is neat, is acceptable, then we can literally do anything, be anything, overcome anything. So guys and gals, let me just illustrate to you how deeply what's being propagated from the Western world has affected the entire world. And by the Western world, I mean places like the Americas, Europe, those kinds of places, even Australia. Here in Nigeria, people with locks are discriminated against. Meanwhile, how many thousands of years has locked hair been in Africa? Not just in Nigeria, but all across Africa in different forms, different variations. It's really, really tragic. So tragic to the point that the people that are supposed to protect us, SARS, which are basically people that patrol the streets, make sure that everyone's driving safe, being safe, etc., etc., are killing people based on the way that their hair looks. 
if that is not warped, I don't know what is. Like, it's something that completely baffles me, baffles me to speechlessness. It's ridiculous and it needs to end. How can I be in my own country? People that look like me are being discriminated against because of the way they're wearing their hair. If it's not disturbing, what the mass enslavement of black people around the world has done, if you don't have a problem with it in 2019, then there's a problem with you because look at what it's doing to society everywhere. It needs to stop. So, you guys, this one is very near and dear to my heart because this is ridiculous. <laughs> Like, as much as your girl likes to be wearing her straight hair weaves and curly hair weaves and all of this, all of that, I love my very, very kinky hair. Straight hair does not necessarily look better than kinky hair and vice versa. Kinky hair does not necessarily look better than straight hair, though some of us would beg to differ. I'm sure you can agree with me. <laughs> Anywho, the reason why I'm letting y'all know this is because it's been perpetuated for centuries that our hair is not good enough. This is obviously a recurring theme throughout this video, and we wouldn't need to make this video if that was not the case everywhere but no straight hair just like kinky hair needs maintenance from what you put on it down to what you eat hair is hair it looks different it feels different but it still needs to be cared for regardless of the type of hair that it is if you have straight hair and you're not maintaining your hair it's gonna be looking like a rat's nest on top of your head that's just the bottom line i mean some of my wigs look a hot mess but every time i wear my natural hair it looks really, really lovely because, I mean, you don't need to do very much to it for it to just pop. Now, really, natural hair actually became more acceptable during the civil rights movement when people like Angela Davis wore their fro loud and proud. Now, prior to that, hair was often pressed or straightened because black hair has always been seen as inferior to white hair. Now, of course, hashtag slave trade, hashtag diaspora, you guys know all about that, I hope, and if you don't, please do your research. This is extremely important history, and we all need to know this. But digression aside, other very prominent figures like Jesse Jackson, Pam Greer, etc., etc., also wore their hair in afros to show their solidarity with people of color in the United States and all around the world. Now, the really, really sad irony is that in places like Nigeria and other parts of Africa, of course, for centuries, Wearing our hair in its natural state was a thing. Whether it's in an intricate braided style, whether it's locked, whether it's in a fro, whether it's in plaits or whatever else, it's always been a point of pride. It's a shame to see how far we've fallen, but of course we're definitely getting back on that horse together. We as a people need to break the bonds of mental slavery and stop allowing what's being propagated to us to dictate to us what is beautiful. We are beautiful. We need to put our images in our front, in our very before, so we know that we are more than enough. Now, what is being propagated to us, you might ask? Well, I'm here to tell you. Just take a seat, have that tea, let's get right into it. Of course, if you don't already know, I mean, I hope you do, white hair, white skin has continued to be the standard of beauty. Eurocentricity has always been what is considered beautiful. Now, if you do not know this, that's typically how societies dominate other societies. West African society in particular has always been seen as superior to what Western Europe had to offer. But in order to actually subjugate us and actually like enslave us mentally prior to enslaving us physically, they had to make us believe that everything we had to offer was inferior. Can you imagine that in the 21st century, a whole Matthew Knowles would tell the world that Beyonce's light skin is what helped her career and that nappy hair is not allowed in his household. He didn't even insinuate anything. He flat out said that the reason why Solange and Beyonce's careers are popping is because of their fairer skin. Let me not even say fair skin. What makes skin fair? Light? No. That implies that it is better. Let me just say lighter skin. So when we have those types of things being perpetuated, when we now bear in mind that the Western world strategically made us feel like we're not good enough, we need to actually actively work towards reminding ourselves that we are, again, more than enough. And I hope that you're telling yourself that every single day. It's a different kind of feeling When you're moving to the rhythm 
guys, I want to clear the air and let all of you know I'm not a black panther because I wear a fro. <laughs> Bars. Anyway, <laughs> natural hair is not a political statement. Take Erica Badu, for instance. She's actually worn her hair in a variety of ways since she's been in the industry. Braids, blown out, huge fro, scarves, any and everything, including locks and a lot more. She feels no obligation to wear her hair in any particular state. She just prefers to do what's healthy. And essentially, what is healthy to her is being as natural as possible, which is why she abstains from chemically treating her hair. It's not because she feels like, oh, I need to speak out for my people. I need to like, you know, be a representative for a change. No, it's just because this is what she wants to do with her body. Solange is another great example of an individual who does not care what happens to her hair. I remember when she chopped off her hair sometime in, was it 2014? She really just did it because she wanted to. She felt like if people were theorizing that she was pulling a Britney, like not y'all, she's not having a mental breakdown. She's literally just cutting off her hair. And if you look at her hair now, she bleaches it, she straightens it, she flips it, she fries it she literally does anything she wants to do to it so everybody calm down it's not a political statement all the time we're not all going like this however if we choose to go like this you shouldn't have a problem with it because black people need support so y'all why am i talking about all of this there's too much hair hate there's too much propaganda there's too much perpetuation of certain stereotypes that deeply affect people of color. No, not people of color, black people of color. So I'm very passionate about this topic, obviously. I mean, I was getting a little hot there, you know, but it's necessary because things need to change. Something has to give. We can't continue to see ourselves in this way and allow ourselves to be seen in this way. If people refuse to be educated, we will educate them by force. And that's what I want to do with this video. So I encourage you to share to everyone who asks you something ignorant or tells you you need to wash your hair. Let them know it's not by force if the girl or a guy. And you are not your hair, but your hair is who you are. It sounds contradictory, but let me explain. While you do not need to be defined by your hair, your hair is a part of who you are and there's no reason for you to be ashamed of it. And that is exactly what I mean and I hope that you take that away and it actually positively affects you. So guys, I know I was getting a little somber there. Usually we're laughing and joking around on this channel, but thank you for being here with me. Thank you for listening to me. Thank you for hearing this with me. And I want to hear from all of you. How do you relate to this? I know I'm not the only one who's experienced these things that I've mentioned in the video. So I want to hear your story. Please share with me in the comments down below. Be sure to share this video again with anyone who needs to hear this message. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up so YouTube knows that you enjoy this type of content and last but never ever least, subscribe to my channel and turn on your notifications so you know every time I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching. See you all in the next video. I love you so much and God bless you. I spend my money, do you like that? She back it up and then I pipe that. I bite your neck, now would you bite back? I do it like this, do it like that, yeah, yeah. She put it on me, then I write that. She back it up and then I pipe that I back your neck, now would you back that? I do it like this, do it like that So we can keep it on the low, on the low Yeah, my partner go no